a horror story out of the Netherlands. Avoid movements in the street and lock yourself in your hotel rooms. This warning was issued to Israelis in the Netherlands after a brutal assault from a mob of armed Muslims. The attack followed a soccer match where at least five people were hospitalized and 62 were arrested. Israeli leaders are horrified at this blatant display of anti-Semitic violence, and they're taking quick action to help the victims. Julie Stahl brings us the story. Israeli soccer fans in Amsterdam to watch a game were violently attacked and threatened by a giant mob of Muslim immigrants armed with knives and clubs as they left the event. The Israeli government is sending flights to rescue Israelis who are said to be hiding in their hotels after the brutal attacks. Israeli media and social media exploded with coverage and outrage about the attacks, which are being called a pogrom, an organized massacre of an ethnic group like the Nazis carried out against the Jews in the 1930s. Thursday's attack happened just days before the 86th anniversary of Kristallnacht, when the Nazis launched multiple pogroms against Jews. Prime Minister Netanyahu says he views with utmost gravity the planned anti-Semitic attack against Israeli citizens and requested that security be increased for the Dutch Jewish community. He spoke with the Dutch Prime Minister, who posted on X, calling the attack completely unacceptable anti-Semitic attacks on Israelis. Some media reports say there were signs of tension even before the attack. The Times of Israel reports video on social media showed Israelis chanting against Arabs and Palestinians in the city, apparently before the violence, and that pro-Palestinian anti-Israeli activists claimed the Israeli fans were the first to harass and engage in violence. Newly appointed Foreign Minister Gidon Saar is traveling to the Netherlands to handle the crisis. Deputy Foreign Minister Sharon Haskell says many are hospitalized. I call on the Dutch government to arrest and prosecute all those involved, and we have information from social media leading to those radical Islamists who went hunting for Jews. She challenged Europe to take action. I call on Europe and the world to act more aggressively to combat anti-Semitism. This is your responsibility. Israeli Jews being attacked by a violent mob in the heart of Europe is something no one should stand. If we fail to act, it will only get worse. And the National Security Council issued a new warning to Israelis and Jews in the Netherlands to avoid movements in the street and lock yourself in hotel rooms. The externalization of Israeli and Jewish symbols must be avoided. The latest violence has once again focused Israeli fears on the rising tide of international anti-Semitism. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Jerusalem. It should point out the vital need for Israel, that there would be a homeland for the Jews, where they would be safe and they would be protected by their own government, by their own army. Uh, this is what happened in Europe. Uh, back in the 1930s, the 1940s. It's what happened in Russia back in the 1890s. It's been happening again and again and again. And we have vowed on our watch never again. But on our watch, we have this thing happening in the Netherlands. We had October 7th. We have all the rockets from Hezbollah. We have in our own college campuses the chant from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. That means the extermination of Jews. That means taking Israel off the map. We have to stand against it. We have to stand with Israel in her time of need.